hi guys welcome to my channel today we have a what my 10 month old eats in a day and my name is melissa i am a mother of four ages 15 12 8 and 10 months and if you like videos like these of motherhood consider subscribing <music> And I like to use this website called healthychildren.org and it just explains what your child should be eating and at what age. And I like to use this just as a, a reference for my 10 month old. So this morning for breakfast, we are having scrambled eggs. I used a little bit of olive oil and I'm gonna use some of these organic eggs from Costco. And I scrambled about four eggs because I also feed my other children. Um, I believe this morning only my eight-year-old was hungry, so I went ahead and made four scrambled eggs. I normally make about two for Camila. And I like to add a splash of milk just to help the eggs be a little bit more fluffier. Here I am just going to serve her. And I'm also going to serve them some avocado on the side. Camila loves avocado. And this might seem like a lot of food for a 10 month old, but she does drop about half. And my pup Bentley back there likes to pick up the scraps that she drops. On this specific morning, I decided to give the kiddos some strawberries and I normally give her either strawberries or bananas as those are soft for her to chew on. And here I am just dicing them up and placing them on her plate. Here is her breakfast, very colorful, her avocados, her strawberries, and her scrambled eggs. Now I'm going to go get Camila and I'm going to put on this full size bib. I love it. I believe the brand is from Bumpkins at Target. And it's just a full size bib, especially because the avocado and the strawberries tend to stain her clothes. So I like to use this full size bib just to keep her clothes clean. I typically help Camila when I can, but for the most part she eats by herself. She is learning how to pick up the spoon and I am in the background helping her as needed. I am normally near just cleaning up, making the other kiddos their breakfast, waking them up, washing the dishes, you know, that mom stuff. I do like to offer her some water during her meals per that website that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video and I just add some fresh brood some fresh brood I just add some fresh filtered water into her sippy cup that has a soft spout and this will hold her off for about a half an hour to an hour and typically then she is ready for her first bottle of milk and she normally will nap about a half an hour to an hour and this will be her first nap of the day and after her first nap it is about 10 30 she is ready for a snack and i love these organic fruit and vegetable pouches from costco so i would just give her one of those and offer her some water again she won't drink all that water she'll normally drink about an ounce or two and then she's ready for her milk again And here I am just chopping up some vegetables for the week. I like to chop up some vegetables for Camila and steam them so whenever it is mealtime for her, they are ready to go. On this specific week, I decided to make some squash. I am just using some yellow squash and some Mexican squash, but the vegetable of choice can vary each week. Spirit. 
I'm going to use this trivet, I believe it's called a trivet, and I'm going to put that inside the Instant Pot, add about a cup of water, and steam this for three to four minutes. And I quick release the pressure on the Instant Pot after three minutes of it cooking on high pressure. And now I am going to transfer it into this mold. It holds about three ounces in each little square. So this is great because this is what I use throughout the week. I would just feed her a square of that squash into her meals. And I am all about convenience in this household, so I like to get a rotisserie chicken that's fully cooked from our local grocery store or Costco. And then I just go through it and make sure there's there's no bones or no like nerves. And I just shred it into small pieces and I save it in this container throughout the rest of the week and I serve her this either for lunch or for dinner or if I make her like a cheese crisp. I will go ahead and use this chicken throughout the week. And here you have it, some rotisserie chicken, some squash, which it is Mexican and yellow squash to be exact. And this just helps mealtime go a lot faster with a 10 month old and three other siblings and here i am just getting ready for her lunch she already had a bottle before this but i only gave her about three ounces because i knew lunch was soon and it is almost noon time here and i gave her some white rice that we had left over for dinner some of that squash that i made earlier in the week and some chicken that i also shredded up for her earlier in the week It is almost 1 p.m. and she is definitely ready for her nap and she cannot nap without a bottle so I went ahead and gave her 6 ounces of milk. It is close to 3 p.m. and she is ready for a snack after she wakes up from her nap so I gave her 3 baby biscuits and water for her snack. So now it is dinner time and I actually went to Panera and picked up some dinner for us so I used some of that mac and cheese that we picked up from Panera and I gave her some of that with some chicken, some strawberries and some of that squash that I made earlier this week. And after this she normally has a bottle, a big 8 ounce bottle and she takes a bath and she is ready for bed around 8 p.m. And she doesn't eat all of this food. The dog does eat about half because she does drop about half. I just wanted to throw that in there as you can see he is waiting for the scraps and she does sleep throughout the whole night she won't wake up till the next day around 6 7 a.m thank you so much for watching our video of what my 10 month old eats in a day again this is what works for us from what i have researched on the internet and what i have spoken with our pediatrician and if you like motherhood videos like these consider subscribing and joining our family here on youtube i'll see you guys next time bye